Council Bluffs Haunted House wants to scare you into giving. The Madness Haunted House preys on your deepest fears for free. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Deborah Tuff shows us how the Madness Haunted House is the only one in Council Bluffs. It's the, the fear of the unknown, and that's where we where we touched on. Every hallway, every turn has a different theme of its own. And the theme of the madness haunted house. <laughs> Just plain scary. We had a lot of people donate dolls and uh, and doll parts, and we just kind of took it upon ourselves to to make them look as as scary as we could. Josh Bellows always had a fascination with Halloween. Come on, I'll show you. Well, show me before I get in here. Well, you got to be in here to see it. I want you to get the full effect. So for the past three years, it's grown to this. <laughs> 1,200 square feet of graveyards, sadistic actors, neon lit and blood splattered rooms, all hand built. And we've packed every bit of it with, uh, with set detail. But Melo says what's even scarier, hunger. That's why Madness Haunted House is completely free. All they ask for is food and monetary donations to benefit CB's Care and Share House. Yeah, Karen Share House is a free food pantry, and then we also have this free store, which includes clothing and household items. Madness runs for two days, Hollow's Eve and Halloween. But next year, Mellow's promise is bigger and better. We're possibly going to be in a building next year because um, uh, we're running out of space at, at my house here. From Council Bluffs, Deborah Tuff, KMTV Action 3 News.